Hey, what's up guys? Today in this dev tip, let's look at how we can create a slug for one of our model on its own. So the idea is that I am I have a product model. I was, I'm trying to do some R&D on analytics and that's where I decided to create a small little shopping kind of a website. And so I have a product. Now, obviously product has I'll show you it has title it has a status photo id description timestamps right and then i am planning to have a slug now the idea here is that when i have a slug the slug should automatically get created based on the title okay so how do we do that the i um i don't want to you know kind of send the slug through the ui or you know add it inside a service i can i can create a service class and inside that i can do that logic but what if we want to have that particular logic inside the model so that's where i'm coming from so let's see i have a route which is route post product controller dot store what's happening inside that function um so this thing takes create product this is a request and inside the rules method we have three mandatory fields title photo id and description as you can see i don't have the slug over here right so then the request comes in it gets validated and whatever is getting validated is passed on to the create function and we are expecting that a product is created it is stored into the database and that's why inside my test if you see I have title, description, and photo ID, all the three elements which are there in the validation rule. And then I do this post JSON to that particular route. I send this data and then I'm asserting these things. Now, when this slug is not there, right? If I, if I now hit, uh, if I run my test, you can see that it will pass. Okay. It's taking a bit of time. I don't know why. That's pretty weird. Hmm. It creates a product. Is it behaving strange because it's trying to access the actual database? No, it's in memory. I don't know. Okay. It's taking time. Maybe we will do it on the terminal. So I have a shortcut to run all my unit tests, PU, which stands for PHP unit, and it is failing over here, right? Immediately it failed over here because product has no column slug. I think um, I commented it out and my, um, where is database factories? Yes, that's the reason it is failing. So let me quickly again check. Yes. So as you can see, I'm saying that this is how the product is looking like. But then the moment I start creating products with a slug, let's just uncomment this and uncomment this as well. Now, obviously, I need to create that slug because this is a field which cannot be null. So automatically, again, I'll start facing issues where this particular test will not pass. So PUF stands for PHP unit filter. And then I paste the test name. And yes, it is failing. It's failing because it says property title doesn't exist, which is a bit weird again, because the title is already there, right? Um, oh okay yes i i get it so it says you know title doesn't exist because it didn't get that particular thing you know, it was expecting a 200 response but it didn't happen so if we do a die dump over here and then run this you will see we are basically getting a MySQL error. Okay, that's a long scroll, but you'll understand that integrity constraint violation products.slug. Okay, it cannot be null. So how do we solve this problem? 
let's see let's go to a product model and we have something called as boot methods inside models what does these boot methods do they they get executed at different events of model for example i have a boot method which can uh, which will get executed when a model is getting created there are boot methods which run when a model is updated or deleted right so we are going to hook into that and we are going to create our slug so this is how it goes we write a protected function a protected static function and the name will be boot okay this is good you need to call parent boot okay this is how the syntax goes and then we write our own code static creating and as you can see it expects a callback so when it expects a callback that means i can do something like this okay and the callback will get the model so here we have product and in here we can do something like product slug is equal to say string slug product title okay we get access to all the properties within that model and so after that we add a dash to it and just to keep some uniqueness to every slug that we are creating why don't we do something like this the reason well the thing is if there are two products with the same name then we may have a conflict in terms of slug and that brings me to the point that it should be unique okay so we have a column which is called slug inside the model we have a boot method inside that boot method i'm saying that when the models create function is executed or the create method is executed these are classes sorry so yeah when the create method is executed this thing should happen so now this means ideally if i try to run this test it should pass because now it will get a title let's see and it does if you want to see the result maybe we can do that again and see that we have a slug over here so my fake product that is the name that is the title that got converted into the slug and then we have our you know this format ymd to create some uniqueness out of it right and yes this is as easy as it gets you just add this and you are done now you don't need to worry whether the product is getting created through a controller or through a service or something else whenever it is getting created the slug will automatically get created so that's about it that's how these booth methods work i'll try to explain how even update and destroy works but that's it for now Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.